Hi, this is Brian Reese from Easy Flow Tech Talk Tutorials, and today we're going to show you how to use the rectangle ellipse tool and to make a little creative design in maybe your background, or you might have a flyer you're putting together, a brochure, or something like that, and you want to put, you want to make a little extra uh, pizzazz to it. Now, first of all, what we're going to do is go ahead and create a new, or bring in a new layer, okay, and then we're going to go ahead and Alt backspace to change the layer to black okay alt backspace now we're going to go on over here to the ellipse tool elliptical marquee tool and since we have it we'll go ahead and just drag this out and make a nice size one for you circle now what we do from here is we go over to the adjustment layers and put a solid color in there the color we want to put in is white just putting in white it doesn't really matter unless you don't have a background uh, then it will matter uh, what color you put in the back but right now we're going to go ahead with white because we're going to fill up pretty much the whole thing now, how do we do that next thing we need to do is double click here on the layer we want to open up the layer style and put a stroke around it now it already has a red stroke it's already set for red about 18 inches that's not bad and uh, it's also red I might want that a little darker and maybe a little lighter because it's on black, so that's fine. Go ahead and click OK here, click OK here, and boom, you have that right there. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and create two more of these. But first we're going to go ahead and complete this one. Let's go ahead and pull in a picture or a photograph from your library. Or you can import it from your file, open, or you can drag and drop it right here in this particular screen. But we're going to go into the libraries and pull in a photo of someone from here. Just drag and drop. Go ahead and close this back up. Go ahead and click the plus sign there, which actually solidifies your thing there. Go ahead and just cover as much as you can. Come back over to the layer. Then you want to take your cursor and you want to get right between the line as close as you can. But hold down Alt and you'll see this happen. Okay? And what you want to do is you want to put her in the circle. Excuse me. Okay, now once she's in the circle, you can always move her around any way you want to. Okay, you want to too close to the side, you want her to that side, you want her higher, you want her lower, or you want to eliminate the white background. Okay? Just put it right there and you're good to go. Now what we want to do next is go ahead and click the top one, click the bottom one, and we want to merge these. So we right click, me, right click, and merge layers. Now it's all one. So make sure that you have it all set the way you want to because there's no going back from here. Okay, so next one we want to go ahead and put another one in there. A little smaller. You want to do the same thing there by going to uh, adjustment layers, solid color. We can put any color we want to in it. And then go ahead and put a border around it, a stroke around it. Same stroke, same color. You just click stroke and it puts a stroke around it. Okay. Okay, now that we have this one here with the, um, the circle, the image, and everything, we're going to put an image in there now. Go to libraries and pull out another image. One that looks good to you. Go and pull out Granny. Hit the confirm tool there. Go ahead and close this back. I'm going to bring her over and size her down a little bit. You don't have to try to do this when you get her inside the circle. And this is good right there. Pretty much covers it. That's good. Slide it over. Get it as close to the center as you can. Go ahead and click the confirmation check mark there. Open this puppy up. And then you want to go do the same thing. You want to hit hold down Alt and click. That puts her in the circle. You can move her around any way you want to. All right. There we go. Now we want to go ahead and control. You want to click the top one and shift click the bottom one. Go ahead and right click on the layer and hit merge layers okay now you want to put in another one let's 
Come back over to the marquee tool. It's good practice. We're going to put in a smaller one right about here. Okay, doing the same thing. We want to go to the adjustment layers, solid layer. Let's make sure she has a white one. Then you want to double click on the color fill there. I'm going to go over here to where it says uh, stroke. Click stroke. You can change the color of the stroke at any point or the thickness of the stroke at any point. You can have the stroke be on the inside or on the outside or in the center. Okay. Well, we want it on the outside. Go ahead and click OK. Now it's time to bring another picture in from the library. Library. Okay. Go ahead and drag her in. Go ahead and accept it. And get the move tool and pull her over to the middle here. Hit Control T. And it opens up the transformation tool. Put her over the box there. Okay, then go back to your layers. Go ahead and find the Alt key. Drag it somewhere over in the side up under the tool there. Hit click and it should put her in the circle. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and click the top one, click the bottom layer, shift click, and then we want to right click and merge the layers. Now, you have these here, you can sit up any way you want to, on top of each other, side by side, one, two, three, like that, however you want to do it, just bring her down just a little bit, bring this one down, this over, you can even add text. And you are good to go. So you can use this for brochures. You can use it for websites. You can use it for web pages. You can use it for pretty much anything. Um, and you can put anything inside of it. So you just feel free to play around with it. And show me what you come up with. Anyway, you all have a great day. Please subscribe. Hope that you like it and enjoyed it and learned something from it. Um, Photoshop has tons of tools. Once you start playing with them, once you start using them, I say play with them. Uh, play with them, touch them, open them up, and make sure that you uh, use them on a regular basis and you won't lose it. All right, thank you, and have a great day. Bye-bye.